All right, welcome back, everybody. You are still watching The Lowdown. Now, Mike, we're all in for a treat because I don't know if you realize, Halloween is right around the corner, my friend. Yes. Yes, it yes. is. It's the fall season, so what better way to celebrate than to have my good friend and body painter, Miss Mandy Eileen Schiff, join us. That's right. How you doing? Hey. Ma'am, ma'am, how are we doing today, mama? Good to see you. Good to see you. You look good? Yes. Welcome, welcome, please. Please sit. <laughs> Stop giggling already, okay? <laughs> it is always great when you come, because I know when you show up, you are going to be bringing some amazing body painting. That's right. Gotcha. You always make me blush. All the things that you do. <laughs> as much as you can, Blush. Yeah, sure. as much as I can. No, they can see it. They can feel it. They can. <laughs> America can. Now, America I've said can. this before, but you are an amazing body painter. You have been doing this for years, and every time I see something new, it always wows and it just amazes me. So I never asked you this question, though, all the times you've been here. How did you get started body painting? Uh, well, um, I was doing bri bridal makeup. At a Idol salon, makeup. Okay. and we started kind of doing kids' makeover parties. Okay. So I started doing, uh, we called them little diva parties. Aww. And so we made like little party packages where they came and got their nails done and their hair done. And, and the all kids stuff. loved that, of yeah, course, Yeah, so the kids right? loved it. So a lot of the moms didn't want um, necessarily the like bright blue eyeshadow and red lips on their five-year-olds. No, they don't want them looking <laughs> like strippers. No, wait till they're 13. That's when you do that kind of oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, it's oh, more oh, of a quinceanera. Yeah, thing yeah, like yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so we, I started doing the face painting uh, for the first one I ever did was for a festival just to kind of try to generate okay. some income for the salon. And we started doing it for the parties and then just people just loved it. And then after doing the salon for a little bit, people started saying like, oh, well, can you come to my house and face paint? And I was like, uh, sure. I mean, I guess. Can, yeah. you, can you paint like a Superman? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I just had done princesses for years. Gotcha. So, And then my friend was pregnant, and she was like, oh, it'd be really funny if you painted my belly. Like she, So we did a goldfish bowl with a little uh, pink bow on the little goldfish because oh, nice. she was having a girl. with this big gold, big goldfish bowl. <laughs> so, on her big belly. Yeah, so that gotcha. was my first technical body paint was, was a belly painting. And it took off because you've been doing this yeah. like crazy yeah, for years. Yeah, it's been uh, 15 years now since I started painting. There you go. That's people. amazing that, that you went from actually doing princesses and stuff like that. <laughs> Just princesses. Can you do Superman? Yeah, but he's going to have to have a tiara. Like, <laughs> <laughs> She's still getting glitter. Glitter, yeah. <laughs> They're all getting glitter. <laughs> that is awesome. So it's it's Halloween, like I said. Yes. I, I thought oh, to yeah. myself a couple months ago, mm -hmm. what better way to celebrate than to have Mandy come in and do a body painting theme around Halloween? Yeah. Now, now, <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> what did we do this year? Um, for the for the body paint here, we did some evil clowns. I like clowns. Okay, yeah. gotcha. It's a little creepy, but still cute and sweet with. You know, the cute clown and then the evil clowns. Okay. Oh, ha okay, on a scale of one to divorce, how embarrassed am I going to be when she comes out here? I, there's lots of coverage. Okay. You know, okay. for uh, the, you know. Okay, I'm not asking the yeah. right way. On a scale yeah. from one to my <laughs> wife is crazy. <laughs> How uncomfortable, no, I'm just joking. Oh, no, you no, always do a great <laughs> job. And I will say that all the stuff you do, some of it does contain nudity, but it's always yeah. tasteful. It's always truly art. Now, you brought a special guest with us today, yes. one of our favorites, who yes. you bring with you? Uh -huh. I brought Joy with me. Pure today. Joy is back Pure with joy. us, it's gonna be great. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and introduce her right now. Mandy Eileen painted this woman, it's going to be a Halloween theme. <laughs> so right now, people, with no further delay, please welcome Pure Joy. <laughs> yes, wow. there you go. That is, okay, that's amazing, by the way. No, that is absolutely amazing. Okay. All right. Don't, all right. She rocks it. I love it. No, no, truly, walk me through this. Now, the whole theme from top to bottom, even with the hair. See, it's like a cute clown, though. It's, it's not, a very... It's not super scary. It's She's not, still no, adorable. It's, scary's like, not the word I would use for that. But, no, <laughs> but tell me a little bit about it. That's an awesome look. Uh, yeah, so I figured in a way to make the, um, you know, to cover all the important areas. I, right. I had this idea of doing the clown ruffles okay. for a chest piece mm -hmm. so that we could, you know, be uh, covered enough. And but let's still be honest, that advertising is very clever. the, the uh, artwork. That's there. clever because that is actually the clown's collar, uh -huh. what they yeah. wear, the big ruffles, and yes. each one, so, um, that is yeah. really good. Now, the detail on the clowns is amazing. <laughs> Like, how long does it take to do something like this, this whole look from start um, to finish? This whole look today, start, oh, we did two hours. 
That only takes two hours to do. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That is I mean, I planned it out in my mind first. I knew exactly what we were going to do, and I made the ruffles at home. I finished those up last night. Uh, okay, so. good. <laughs> now tell me, when you were coming up with something like this, what's the planning process? Because all I said to you was, let's do something Halloween theme, and you right. just... You started with paper and pen and said, okay, how did, how did you come up with that? Actually, the funny part about this process is that I have a client that I'm painting next week for Fantasy Fest in Key West. Okay. And so we're doing an evil clown theme for her piece. So right. she's going to be full body covered with evil clowns. Uh, full, full body. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So head to toe, full evil clowns. And so my idea was to practice and to kind of start some of the ideas on how to place the clowns see, on the body No pun intended, and see if they would flesh out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see that. And it actually worked very well. I mean... I mean, they're a good rounded I, shape, you know, so they, they work very well in the chess piece. It sure and, does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, even the body makeup, I mean, the face makeup for the, our model Joy is amazing. Like, she's an actual clown as well. Yeah. And I love the Bob little hairdo that you did. Everything works well. The color and everything all complements the entire piece. Yeah, that's the, the, honestly, it's not the hard part, but it's the interesting part of being a body painter is using their body. Everybody's body is completely different, so you have to complement how the shapes flow on everybody's body. Gotcha. So those, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, Every those canvas clowns is... might not fit exactly on somebody else's body perfectly. I've painted her before. I know about what shape she is, so I plan those accordingly to what her body looks like. Gotcha. Now, I will never be able to paint that exactly like that again on somebody else because they're body shape is going to be different. Every so. canvas is mm -hmm. different, every body right. type. I'm mm -hmm. interested to see if I let you paint me, like what you put on my body. <laughs> you always do those pumpkins. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, ah, you, ah. I'm going to tell you what you're not going to do. <laughs> All right, everybody. Now, Mandy, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to be right back. I'm going to get to sit down and talk to you yes. and your model, Joy. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. When we be back, hopefully I'll still be here. All right. Stick around on the lowdown. No, that's absolutely amazing. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Today, I'm very excited because I have my good friend and body painter, Mandy Eileen Schiff, and she brought my favorite, favorite model today. That's right, Pure Joy. Thank y'all for being here, by the way. Yeah. Now, we were just talking about that amazing paint job that you did on her. Now, you said it only took two hours, mm -hmm. which is crazy to think about the amount of detail that you got in there. Yeah. And everything. Now, when you design these things, you explained to me that you made those. You made all the props that are on her body. Like yeah, the little ruffles and everything. It's a couple different pieces I sewed together, um, and I, you know, shaped them out. And then when we got here, once we taped them on, I was able to cut off any excess and make sure that they fit her body perfectly. So, um, so. Yeah, so we as a body painter, you don't just paint the bodies. You don't just do a look for a person and walk away. You do everything from head to toe, you were telling me. Right. A like, lot of times there's building props and making all of the um, you know, accoutrements and things that have to go along with it. Gotcha. Um, there is certainly just natural body painting with only a body. Yeah. But I think it's just, it's so much more, um, I, I don't know, uh, what, fulfilling? Yeah, like interesting as a piece to look at when it's got 3D elements added into it. You're absolutely so, right. And then also, of course, with like a wig and or a headpiece or, you know, even like armbands or things like that that you can add, like cuffs on, you know, a super It gives you an art piece. Yeah. Because it is an art piece. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it gives your art piece depth. It right. really does. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it makes it more memorable. Like, I'm pretty sure most people are not going to forget this today. They're going to remember <laughs> <laughs> this. I'm thinking time. I should design some, you know, clown bras and stuff. I think, I think it would be idea. adorable. Well, I would so gotcha. totally wear that out <laughs> yeah, right. all the time. All you have to do is yeah. Just gotcha. Now, Joy's back with us. She, we met her before, and last time she was here, you did a big top thing. Mm -hmm. But right now, Joy, how, like, how do you feel when you get you see this piece on your body? Like, your body becomes art. How does that make you feel? Kind of scared. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's really, it's, that's my favorite thing, is being able to, like, transform and uh, shapeshift, essentially, is what, is what you do. You're a, you shapeshift other, other people, and you've painted yourself as well, so... That's you be, the best. You yeah. become walking art for Absolutely. a little bit. That is so amazing cool. that you get to do this. Now, Mandy, how long would that, that actually last? Like, will that last a day for her? Like, oh, yeah. Let's say she goes to Fantasy Fest. You are telling me a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. How long would a full makeup and everything like that last you if you're going to a, a festival like that? So it just depends on what your activities are for the day. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so no swimming. Okay, obviously. that makes sense. Okay. Um, nothing that's going to cause it to rub off. 
Okay. So, right. as long as you are no very friction. So, so, no friction. So no wrestling. No okay. wrestling. No wrestling. Right. So, we'll say that. Uh, there, there are wrestling activities. I'm sure you could participate in some of the bars down there, but gotcha. that's not encouraged when you're wearing body painting. Understood. Um, yeah. So as long as there's no, you know, friction involved. You no, know, it doesn't it, go with that paint. It, Jello. So yeah. yeah no, no. No Jello wrestling with no. this one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless that's the look you're going for. Gotcha. <laughs> now you talk about making props. Uh, what are some of the most elaborate things you've actually put together for a look? Um, so I, I can build things out of EVA foam and different things like cosplayers do for their pieces as okay. well. Um, so I've built all sorts of stuff, um, full on helmets. Uh, oh. I did a steampunk Batman, which was really cool one time. Stop. So I made the whole helmet with goggles that were attached. Um, so I had to put lenses in there and then I had the little, you know, parts, but then I also made it steampunky. So the whole part looked like the whole helmet had pieces that were, metal like it was attached Leather work on and, stuff and then like, like little that. gears and things like that so that one was really fun though for me um but when i go down to like fantasy fest a lot of customers will book me before time and will tell me what they're going to get painted as when they get there so then i will pre-make their items and bring them down with me so they'll get painted with you know clowns and i'll have the ruffles to go with the clowns nice. or i've had people do like uh, one year I did a merman and a mermaid together. So, Were they a couple? Yeah, so there's lots of couples. So okay. That's a big deal is that a lot of people uh, plan the matching outfits. Gotcha. So I, I made him an entire um, kind of like arm piece to be a little bit more like of like an Aquaman warrior type. There thing. you go. So it had tentacles that came down over it. And it just covered the shoulder and then had a strap that went across his body. And then I painted him like scales underneath it. Look at that. So yeah, it had like tentacles and all this cool coral and stuff. And so like things like that, it just kind of adds. Like anybody can paint, you know, not anybody can paint, but you can get painted as scales anywhere. Gotcha. But you know, to have a custom piece like that built along with the body That's paint amazing. Is, is something I do as well. Now what's the longest painting you did on a body? Like, I mean, it took you the yeah. longest amount of time to do. Uh, the competitions are where I put the most effort into that. So when I do competitions, they're six hours. Six hours. So yeah, you do take a little break in the middle, of course. And um, that, that's probably an average time to do something like that because the competition, I'm sure it's fierce. Yeah, the competitions are a lot and it would be something like this level of paint uh -huh. but completely on every, every aspect of her nook body. Nook and cranny, if right. you will. Yeah. <laughs> All the nooks and crannies are filled with very, very detailed um, stuff. And the props and the headpieces are all part of it as well. Gotcha. You're doing so a competition. So if I was to get something done like this for Halloween, mm -hmm. uh, I wear it the whole day. Right. What does it take to get this off? Uh, and how long does it take? Uh, well, I mean, sometimes that can take a little bit, too, depending on if things are glued to you mm -hmm. or not. I can't but just, like, go down to, like, Home Depot and get paint thinner and, like, hey, oh, lather it on. Like, I can't uh, do that. Right? You know that mechanic <laughs> scrub? That mechanic scrub. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that actually probably would take it off really this easily. This one's water-based, right? Yeah, I get, this one's water-based. I just water -based, hop in the shower. So Most of it just runs right off with just water. And yeah. then if oh, okay. So it's easy to take off. It just depends. Airbrush takes a little bit more. You're okay. going to need something like a coconut oil or a cleansers with, you know, a little bit more of something in it than just water, but um, most of it is just soap and water. Oh, that's easy. I mm -hmm. thought that because it's, it looks like it's so thick mm -hmm. that it would take you forever to get that stuff off. No, like I, no. like I'd be, I did it one day and I come in here and I'm still wearing it. Like, hey Mike, how you doing bro? Honestly, <laughs> liquid dish soap is like yeah. the best thing to take it off. Liquid, okay, Dawn, <laughs> Yeah, the will. stuff you wash your hand, yeah, that takes the oil off the ducts, right? Like, so yeah. yes. it's just gotcha. it's the same thing. <laughs> now, for different skin tones, does it still show up as well? Like, it doesn't matter how yeah. dark you may be or light, it's still all the no, same No, I mean, it, paint. the, the paints themselves have, have opacity like um, so certain paints will be darker or lighter or more transparent okay. so you just layer the paints on how you need them to go on the skin tones so mm -hmm. if somebody has a darker skin tone and you wanted something to be bright hot pink you might put a lighter uh, white down first before to, yeah and but it you would do that on through. a lot of things for the neons to be bright anyway okay so because you don't want like the yellow or reddish skin tones that they already have or the darker ones mm -hmm. to come through to mute your pinks or yellows. So you would put white down anyway. Oh, that makes so, a lot yeah. of sense. So it just, you can just layer the paints together to mm -hmm. create whatever brightness or depth that you want to. I didn't know that, so that's good to know for people at home who may be wondering the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. It works with every skin tone. Now, you talked about Fantasy Fest and mm -hmm. how that's a big thing. It's in Key West, beautiful Key West. Yes, if you've never been, is. I highly recommend you go. Absolutely. Now, but there you can get a little uh, leeway with how much body you can show. Yes. So some people can be a little bit more nude, right. like, like you can be topless there. You can literally, you could go and wear a Pringles can as a costume. Bitch, you can't pop just and one. And that just <laughs> for the week is. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
like a like a crown royal bag. A you could get, wow. you could get away with that. <laughs> like our thought process. I've seen it. Like I've seen it. Pringles cans are. So you got to get some creativity. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm not. I'm not bragging, but I need to. But anyway. <laughs> Absolutely love having you here. Please tell the people at home really quick where they can find both of you on your social medias. Um, so social media, the best one is Instagram for me, which is at Mandy Eileen, which is spelled M-A-N-D-I-I-L-E-N-E. -E. There you go. And Joy, where can we find you? Hello. Um, my Instagram is probably the best as well, uh, but it's Pure Joy Cosplay. So P-U-R-E-J-O-Y-C-O-S-P-L-A-Y. Nothing but a pleasure having both of you here today.